Hi, this is Marlon from MarleyMacMedia.com and in this short video, I'm going to show you how to download and install Reaper, the DAW music production software for free on your computer. So as you can see, I'm on the website now, which is Reaper.fm. That's where you need to go to. And you'll have a few links on the homepage here. One of which the very first one is the download link. Um, there's a purchase link as well. Reaper is actually paid software, but you can evaluate it for free as long as you need to. So it's a great way to start if you're trying to dabble in music production and you can't um, afford to buy one of the more expensive DAWs or you just don't want to invest yet. Reaper is a great way to start. I actually have started using it alongside um, my other DAWs which are Ableton and Logic. I did a video previously, which I'll link up in the right hand corner. It should be in the right hand corner where the YouTube cards are or inside the description or the comments section on this video. So if you want to check that out first, which is where I talk about my top reasons why I think Reaper is great for beginners and um, people that are, have been doing music production for a little while anyway. So click on the download link and it will take you to this page where you can download the version that's correct for your operating system. Um, you can see at the top here, it says you can evaluate it for free. Uh, so initially it gives you 60 days, but after that, it then starts giving you some pop-ups each time you open up the software. So it will ask you, are you ready to purchase or do you want to continue evaluating if you haven't completed your evaluation as in you're not done yet with testing it out then you're free to use it that's perfectly fine that's what they want you to do until you're ready to purchase you don't need to actually purchase and that's the only thing that indicates that you're outside of the 60 days otherwise it works perfectly fine there's no restrictions it's been like that for years so you don't have anything to worry about so you can see here that it allows you to install it on Windows and on Mac. Um, Linux is there as well, but that's apparently experimental. Um, I think you have to go through some other, uh, some, some kind of patchwork to get it working on Linux if you have a Linux machine, um, because you have to run the Windows version, I believe, um, through a software called Wine. But I'm going to focus on the Mac version because I'm actually using a MacBook Pro. And if you're on Windows, you just download whichever the 32 or 64 bit. It tells you, um, depending on which version of Windows you're running, which um, bit version you need to download. So I'm running um, the Mac OS that requires the 64 bit version. So I'm going to click on that and once it downloads, uh, you just run it like any other installer. If it's on Windows, you have a .exe file. You just double click on that and run it and follow the instructions on how to install it. In this case, this is the Mac um, DMG file. So I'm just going to click on that and it opens up a standard installer. Uh, you hit agree and it starts running. Now, I've already got it installed on here, so I'm not... Um, actually, let me just run through the full installation so you can see what it looks like. Okay, so here it's given me two options, two apps actually that I can drag into my applications folder on my Mac. Uh, one of them is the remote. I think it's a remote control software for the program. I haven't actually experimented or tested that out yet. I need to look into it, but I don't really need that right now. All I need is the main operate, the main uh, DAW. So I'm going to grab that, drag it into my folder, and it's telling me that I've already got Reaper installed. I'm going to say replace because all it is is going to replace it with this new version if it's a newer version than the one I have, which I, I, I don't mind. Um, so it's just literally overwriting the version that I've got in there. So what I need to do now is to just open up Reaper. I'm going to search for it and um, it will open up the, the software. I'm going to just minimize this window here. 
Um, yep, I'm gonna say go ahead and open that. I don't need this installer anymore because it's actually installed unless I wanted to do the, the remote thing. Okay, so here is where it tells you, um, do you want to buy it or do you want to carry on evaluating it? And you can add your license key. It says you can visit the site, do the purchase, and then you can add your license key in here if you do purchase it. And if you do want to purchase it, it's very, very affordable. It is only $60 US as of this recording. Let's see if I can pull that up here. So they have two licenses. One is a discounted license if you're using it for, um, to a lesser extent for personal use. And it's not like you're a big commercial studio. If you are, then you would purchase the commercial license, which is still very affordable at $225. If you're doing this for, you know, big business, then it's not much for you to, inst um, for, in for you to invest in the commercial license. If you want to go ahead and read up on what the differences are, it's literally your use case and how much you earn from your music production yearly. So if you earn below up to $20,000, then I think what they're saying is that you're fine on the discounted license. So there you go. Um, so once you open the program, as I've just showed you, it um, looks like this. You can say still evaluating, which is what I've done because I've had it installed for more than 60 days. Um, it's giving me that pop-up. If you just freshly install it, it won't give you that pop-up until after 60 days. This video um, is outside of the scope for me to show you the interface and stuff, but literally that's what it looks like. Um, you have ways in which you can customize it and add new skins and so on. I haven't experimented with that just yet, but um, it's pretty much the mixer area down here. You can see it's got one channel here, which is the master channel. And um, if you were to have additional tracks, I'll just add a track quickly here. Um, you can add tracks along here and they show up down in the mixing section down here as well. And you record linearly. So from left to right um, in each track um, as you add tracks. So I'll do some more videos, which goes into the overview of Reaper and the things that I've been learning about it. And as I um, figure out everything, I'll share them with you. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you've got any questions, leave me a comment inside the description, inside the comments area, and um, I will catch you in the next video. Take care.